What is up everybody and welcome back. I know it has been a while since I put out any content and I do apologize for that. I am trying to get myself back on the ball and today I'm gonna to be adding some new content to the channel. I'm going to be unboxing a Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Box. For those who don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh! is or who Yu-Gi-Oh! is, then I'm sorry. You should definitely go watch it. It's on Netflix. I believe there's only season one and three. Uh, you'll have to find the others. I don't know why they do that. It bothers the crap out of me. But, you know, Netflix is gonna be Netflix. Anyways, besides that, being a kid, I love going to the store, opening Yu-Gi-Oh! packs, you know, a little bit of nostalgia going on. You just go in there, grab a pack off the shelf, run out of the store as fast as you can before they catch you. I'm kidding. Grab your mom's credit card, swipe that thing 20 times, then run out of the store. Don't do that either. I'm kidding. Go to the store, use your own credit card, debit card, cash, whatever you got, life savings. Go put it in there or go to the store, buy yourself some cards, you know, and just smell. Take a whiff of that, that, that nostalgia, you know, it, it just, it hits you so hard. You just, never mind. Anyways, besides the point, let's get on with the unboxing. All right, so here it is, a Genesis Impact. Now this booster box, I believe, is fairly uh, recent. I know it's, it's, I mean, it was pretty cheap for a booster box, and they definitely are smaller than I remember. Um, but that's okay. I mean, I obviously have no problem with that. I just, I don't know. I always remember them being bigger. Maybe just, anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, so let's get, I'll go ahead and go through it real quick. Uh, 24 packs per box, seven cards per pack, yada, yada, yada. First edition right there, awesome, always a plus. Idols Live, or Idols Live, I don't know. I guess it means Idols Live. Anyways, it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, Konami. Now, one thing that concerned me about this box when I got, when I pulled it out of the packaging, uh, or the box that got shipped in, when I shook it, I don't know if you can hear that, but it immediately sounded like loose cards. And I swear, the first box I buy, if there's loose cards in here, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I guess I'll just keep them, I guess. I don't know, and just make a big deal about it. But um, yeah, well, we're about to find out. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. And I do have my uh, TCG player uh, card list on the side right over here. I know you guys can't see it, but it is on the side. Um, I, it's just a little price guide just to see the value just for fun like you know I may sell these at some point potentially I just it's just fun to see what you pull and stuff like that and see if you get your money's worth or if you get scammed you know but you know it's fun either way right yeah okay let's go let's open this bad boy I got my little Sekiro blade here this is actually a letter opener this is not sharp at all see it's not gonna cut you yeah I got it out of the little collector's edition so uh, I would just use a regular knife, but I figured, hey, this is probably duller, so why not just make it fun, right? Everybody loves swords and chopping stuff up. Oh, also, I forgot to, well, I'll get to these in a minute, but, all right. Honestly, I have never opened a booster box before, so those of you, uh, don't make fun of me, okay? I believe it goes like this. Okay, sweet. Sweet, all right, I did it. All right, cool. Okay, the packs look good. I mean, I don't see any loose cards in them. I mean, you got a bunch of packs. I mean, they definitely feel thin, but I, I, they're only seven cards, so I don't expect them to be, you know, full and, uh, what is it, whatchamacallit? Just thick, you know, thick, nasty. All right, let's get on with the first one. Ooh, so exciting, you know, it's always the best feeling in the world. Stuff in the back so we don't see the first card. I try to be really careful, and I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh cards are way more fragile than Pokemon cards, uh, just from what I've noticed. So let's start. Psynet Regression. I can't even see that. Uh, Drytron Gamma Eltanine. Brighton Zeta Aldeba. Engraver of the Mark. Oh, that's a pretty cool card. Brighton Meteor Shower. Nice. Ma Majestus Verita. God, I can't pronounce any of these. Ooh, what is this? Cyber Emergency. Nice looking hollow. Cool, cool. Let me get my uh, card sleeves for those of you that might freak out. Just bought these not too long ago. Pretty proud of myself, you know. I'm trying to think ahead. 
Of course, I only got 55 of them. I probably should have gotten way more with these cool little like dark magician sleeves. Yeah, pretty cool, right? All right, so let's put the hollow in there. And let's see how much this bad boy is worth on the side. Cyber emergency, let's see what we got going on. Cyber emergency, super rare, 135. Hot dog, we're in business. All right, sweet. $1.35, big, big whoop, whoop on that one. Uh, the other cards, I'll add the value up later to them, but I'm just gonna try to focus on the hollows so I don't spend you know crazy amounts of time doing this. All right, on to the next one. Let's see what's inside. And again, the corners, man. Oh, Fred's very damaging corner. Evil Twin Challenge. Okay. In Endemion, the Magistus of Mastery. These names are very cyber regression. Again, look at, ooh, Invoked Magellanica. Magellanica. How much is he? Hold on. I have him in a Duel Links. I also play a uh, Duel Links, so I'm like, he is 12 cents. Hell yes. I mean, heck yes. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Evil Twin Present. The Evil Twins, I swear. Okay, 17 cents. We're looking at big numbers here. Uh, performance Hat Trick. Performage Hat Tricker. Okay. And here we got Imp. Incantation. Kala Slime. Kala Slime. these names are so confusing. What about him? Let's see what he's got. Implantation. Uh, okay, here we go. 23 cents, super rare. Sweet, big money we're talking here, guys. Big money, you wanna invest in something for the rest of your life? Invest in Yu-Gi-Oh cards. If not, I would gladly take them off your hands. Message me, I'll give you $1 for all of them. Thank you and have a great day. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find the best place to talk about these. Give me one second. Okay, on to the next one. Oh, man, I've been craving this. I mean, these have been sitting in my house for the past two days, but every time they show up, I'm just like, I, oh, I hate waiting, but you know, do it for the vine, right? <laughs> just kidding, I don't think we do that anymore. Ooh, invoke Kai, Coctus, Kytus. Damn these names. I'm pretty sure this guy's banned, uh, at least in Duel Links. I actually have one in Duel Links. I can't even use him. So I don't really understand the purpose besides it's a sweet looking card. Uh, 11 cents rare, that's what I'm talking about. You know, big money on that. Dryton Beta, Rustabon, nice star drawing. Nightmare Unicorn, Cyber Angel, Re uh, Benton, Extra Foolish Burial, Live, Live, ooh, this is a hollow too, hold on. Live Twin Key, Keysicle, key skill. We're uh, live to, no way. Whoa, 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 whoa. This isn't, wait, no, this isn't the, what's, see, I need to do my research, hold on. I don't think I have the, yeah, never mind. This isn't it. I was about to say, cause I was like, dang it. We don't have the collector's rare. The collector's rare is um, $64, going for 64. I don't think this is the collector's rare. Uh, I wish you could tell. I don't know how to tell the difference. Sorry, guys. I'm still fairly new to all this, so um, I'm gonna have to look look up because I'm looking at both of them. One just says, "Oh, it says right there." E N D E I M. Is it? Are they, do they have the same names? Okay, I don't know how to. How do you tell the difference? Oh, maybe the collector's rare is silver. It looks like it's silver. Because this one is hollow, the regular, the super rare is just plain. Yeah, I think this is just a super rare, but cool. Sweet. The super rare, by the way, is 25 cents. Cha-ching. Put that in your bank account, no longer broke anymore. All right, on to the next one. One down the line. Ooh, man, all right. Backup secretary. Bottomless trap hole. I love that card. That's what happens when, uh, that's what it looks like when you leave the toilet seat up and then you try to sit down on the toilet. Yeah, you fall right in. You look just like that, too. By the way, I stole that from a meme today. I saw, so I didn't, don't give, don't give me credit for that. The book of the law. 
born from Draconis. Dracon Nightmare Griffin, Dryton Alpha Al Alteris, Secret Password. Woo, a nice hollow. Okay, let me see. Secret Password. What are we looking at right here? Secret Password. 21 cents, baby. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. And one of my statues just fell down. Not the whole thing, just a piece of it. Because I think I bumped it earlier. So cool, sweet deal. Put that up. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Going for the next one. Right. Check this out. And in the Majestus of Mastery. Born from Draconis again. Dracon Draconis. Cyber's Gadget. Evil Twin Present. Drighton Eclipse. Invoke Magellic Lenica. Sorry. Drighton Fafnir. What are we looking at here? Drighton Fafnir. Right and I don't see it. Oh. 23 cents okay yeah I'm pretty sure um, okay maybe not I was gonna say some of these commons and or these normals or whatever they're called they seem like they're um, actually now that I'm looking at this list they all say rare super rare ultra rare collectors rare so I guess they're all rare okay cool Ooh. Next one. <clears throat> okay, okay, let's get this. Triton Eclipse. And Vakitis again. Or Coctus. Kytus. Cool. Magistus Invocation. World Legacy. World Lance. Performage. Damage Juggler. Cybers Gadget. And Triton Alpha. Fubon. Woo! All right, let's see what, let's see. Hold on. Uh, right now for Fubon. Fubon. 54 cents. Heck yeah. But seriously, I need to, I need to really look up the, um, the definition or the looks. And if somebody knows, like, um, Collector's Rare, please tell me. Like, I know I'm new to this. Don't make fun of me. I'm trying to get back into it. As a kid, I was big on it. And then, you know, it kind of fell. And now, like, everything... That happened as a kid is coming back to me so it's like hey let's you know why not at least i have a job now you know that's the difference all right performage again nightmare griffon magnus invocation max does drighton alpha altias hold on drighton what was it drighton delta altias okay nightmare phoenix out of curiosity i want to see him too nightmare Phoenix is a DK. Uh, 63 cents. Probably the best card I've gotten all day. E Evil Twin Challenge. And another Live Twin Lilla. Uh, Live Twin. Live Twin. Hold on. Lilla. 41 cents. Yeah, I believe that is also the uh, super rare. It's not the collector's rare. The collector's rare is... It looks like it has a silver lining, yeah. Holy crap! The collector's rare of this card going for $160. What in the world? Jeez, man. And guys, this is market value, right? by the way. This isn't medium. They don't have medium prices right now, so I think it's because they're still new. So I don't think they're, oh, I forgot to put that in a sleep. Um, I think they're still trying to, they're probably still trying to figure out what the medium prices will go for, but I guess right out of the box, this is what they are worth. All right, next. <clears throat> Sorry, just, I had to do it. You just gotta get that whiff in every time. Live Twin Channel, Star Drawing, Brighton Meteor Shower, Invoke Magellanica again. Herald of Ultimateness. That is a lot of stars. Okay, let me see. What? Uh, 15 cents. Nice. Hmm. 
phones. I can pay my phone bill with that. All right, Dryton Beta, Rastaban, and Evil Twin, Casicle. Please tell me this is the collector's edition. Hold on. Evil Twin, Casicle. It's just Casicle. This says and this one says and Lila. Okay, Evil Twin, Casicle. Even the regular. I wish they would tell you if they were collector's edition or not. Anyways, this one right here, if it's not non-collector, is $18.50. Collector's edition, Evil Twin Sickle, $65! Woo! Cha-ching! <coughs> Golly. <coughs> need to get some water. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to edit that out. Ugh. Awesome. And I think that is collector's edition because it's got the shiny letters um, or collector's rare. Yeah. <clears throat> it's got the collector's rare um, with the shininess on it. So but let me just do, hold on. You know what, while I'm waiting, while we're doing this, let me check uh, how to tell if a Yu-Gi-Oh card is collector's rare <clears throat> okay let's see uh, the cards booster the cards borders will have foiling on it the cards borders what if it doesn't look like a regular ultra if it says by for future reference um, any more comments on this? This is a uh, Reddit. Yeah, Reddit's probably not the best. Just the thing it. Everybody gets their answers from Reddit, right? <clears throat> the card, the card's borders will have foiling on it. Hold on. I think I'm assuming by border, I think he means like the edges, like this. Like I'm assuming he means that border. Hard to tell. Well, let me see if there's another website that will help me. Collectors Rare, um, Studiopedia. Collectors Rare, or simply Collectors Rarity, has a rainbow collective pattern uh, of a parallel rare. Parallel rare, or rare, loser. The card frame is given a parallel coding resembling that of. So I'm assuming, I think it means, oh, okay. I think it means like these borders right here, at least according to this picture. I don't think this is a collective rare, but still 18 bucks. You know, cha-ching, ain't nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> All right. On to the next one. I can't pick up these cards. I need to be setting them on something else. Probably should set them back here. All right. Next one. What could this one hold for us? Okay, let me go back to TCG. Uh, yeah, I just, it doesn't say. I really wish <clears throat> for Genesis Impact it would say. Okay, I'll look at it again in a minute. Right in a stereo, invoke, cut. my battery died. These batteries don't, I don't know why my camera's batteries don't last very long. I need to get the, probably the legitimate ones and not the generic batteries. Anyways, we pulled the last thing before we got cut off was Triton Meteoris Quadrantis. Triton Meteoris, we are looking for Quadrantis. Tw $21 for a collector rare. Oh wait, no, we're looking at 19 cents. This isn't a collector rare. Yeah, we're looking at night thir It just went down in price right after I opened it. Dang, fluctuating that bad, huh? Okay, so it's uh, 19 cents, 13 cents, sorry. Yeah, so I think what happened when I gave you guys that estimate on that $150 card was that when you click the card, it um, the price changes when you open the link. So it's probably changing based on just the market. Cause like I said, market value is what it's going off of. Anyways. 
Let's go before my battery dies again. Okay. And next time I'll be more prepared but when I do this so I know what a collector's rare is before I um <clears throat> before I think I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Herald of Ultimateness. I think I already looked that one up. Uh, yeah, it's another 15 cent card. No, I'm just kidding. It's two cents. <laughs> oh man, it's shipping for two cents. Okay, it's a cool looking card though, nonetheless. I think uh, I think every time I open a pack, the prices go down, which that sounds about right. Invoke Kike this and Crowley, the Majestus of Grimoires. Majestus. Crowley, let's look at you, buddy. Crowley, you're looking at 17 cents. The price just went down to four cents. That's all right. Beautiful things take time to grow, right? All right. On to the next one. <clears throat> We're halfway through. All right, let's go. Dryton, Gamma Elitin, Cyanot Regress, the seven cents card. That's probably like free now if I open that. If I open up the price guide again, it's probably gonna be free. Dryton, Zeta, Extra Foolish Burial, Backup Secretary, Nightmare Unicorn, and Cyber Emergency. Another cyber. Cool deal. Come on, let's pull a Collector's Rare, if I haven't already. <clears throat> I actually have no idea. Uh, that's the that's the sad part. It's like if I got something valuable, it's like, well, I wish it would say like CR on it or something. That way, and it might. I may just not know what I'm talking about, but that way I could actually see. Oh, it says collector's rare instead of just thinking it's a collector's rare. Triton meteor shower. Triton zeta al al the huba. Born from the draconis. Cyber angel benten benten. Graver of the Mark, Nightmare Phoenix, Dryden Fafnir. Yeah, Dryden Fafnir. We got another one, I believe. I already opened Yeah, 23 cents. Opened it up. Just went down a penny. 22 cents, boys and girls. Back in business. No, we're actually not. We actually lost. Actually lost on that one. Okay. <clears throat> And by the way, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. You know the whole shebang. You know the whole spiel. Every YouTuber does it. You know you got to, right? You got to promote yourself. Uh, if you want to see more content, just hit that subscribe button, man. That's all it takes. One little click, bada bing, bada boom, and then you're gonna see all the videos that come up every week. I'm gonna be trying to put out a new video. All right? Engraver of the Mark, Bottomless Toilet Hole, Cyber's Gadget. Magistress Verita, Book of the Law, Invoke Magic in Lenica, and ooh, buddy, Vachrim, Vachrim, the Magistus Divinity Dragon. Sorry, my uh, iPad just. <coughs> God, I need to get some water. This is. <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't say, don't say the the bad word, the C word, okay? Because it's not that. Vachrim. Uh, where are you at? Where are you at? TUV bottom, fifteen cents. Open that bad boy up. It just went down to thirteen cents. Sounds good to me. And guys, this is all based off these. All these prices are based off of TCG Player. They are all subject to change. They will not always stay the same in value. They may go up. They may go down. Only time will tell. But this is as of right now what I'm looking at. All right. Get on with it. Dryton Beta Rastabon, Magistus Trilogy, Dryton Asterism, Star Drawing. <clears throat> it's a cute little card. Extra Foolish Burial, Nightmare Unicorn, and At Atwas, the Magistus Spell Spirit. All right, let's look it up. What are we looking at? How do you, oh, it's, it's an A. Atwas, the Magistus Spirit. 20 cents! Four, oh my gosh, four cents. I gotta stop opening that. You know what? Just, here's the thing. Just don't even open it, right? Just don't even open. Don't even open the, the price guide. Like, just look at the market value 
But don't click on the card because it's just going to be worth less. Every time I click it open, it's worth less. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Round 25. Okay, Perform Age, Evil Twin Challenge, Evil Twin Present. Oh, nice. Back to back. Another Perform Age. Wow, let's see. Uh, Ward Legacy, Ward Lance, Triton Delta, Atarius, and Alistair the Invoker of Madness. Hello. Hold on. I think he's good. One dollar. That's what I'm. T 89 cents. Jiminy Christmas. Hey, but if it's a collector's rare, it is actually. $29. See, the collector's rares go up every time I open it. So I should probably just keep doing that. Um, but again, I, I don't know. Like, when I look at the collector's rare on the price guide, this is silver. When I look at the, like, what it is now, it's silver here. But when I look at the standard, it's black. It's just solid black tech. So, fingers crossed, that's a collector's rare. If it is, we got $30 in the bag. Like I said, I'm gonna do a little more research later on, see if I can calculate these prices better. All right, oh. get out of here, commons. Just kidding, they're, they're all rares in my in my book, right? They're all rares according to the price guide. All right, on the next one. Oh man, it's, okay, a big pile of trash right there. Evil Twin Challenge. Indy Mayon, the Magisters of Magistry, Magistery, Ma Mastery, Kali, Sign of Regression, Invoke Magilenica, Evil Twin Present, Perform Age Hat Tricker, Secret Password, again, we got another Secret Password, we can rack that up to 21 cents, actually, 24 cents, went up 3 cents, that's what I'm talking about, Big Moolah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of, lot of dupes. But of course, I think that's obviously that's gonna be normal, you know? <clears throat> you're gonna have dupes whenever you're opening booster boxes, right? That, that's what makes the most sense. All right, on to the next one. Nightmare Phoenix, Bottomless Trap Hole, Drighton Eclipse, Herald of Ultimateness. That's such a nice looking card. I like it because it's got a lot of stars. That's Born from Draconis, number 96. Live Twin Home, Live Twin Home. I think that is the first one of that spell card I have pulled. Let me see, Live Twin Home, Live, <clears throat> or Live Twin Home. 25 cents, open it up, 22 cents. Sweet deal. That's what I'm talking about, hey, only a quarter. Probably cost him a penny to print this bad boy right here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> but who is that the other guy we got earlier? Uh, Alistair the Invoker. Alistair the Invoker of Madness. That card, I swear, it looks different in Duel Links. I'm probably thinking of a different card. Doesn't matter. On to the next one. We got Backup Secretary. I feel like that's the first time I've seen that one. Bottomless Poop Hole. Book of the Law, Magistus Veritia, Born from Draconis, Nightmare Griffin, Trimagistus. That's the first one we got of that. Let's check it out. Nice looking spell card. Trimagistus, 18 cents. They just went down to four cents. Hot dog. Four pennies, man. Just think, I could go to my car right now, give you the change out of my car for this. It's a pretty good deal, right? Pretty good deal, if you, I do say so in my book. Because who knows, maybe one day it goes from four cents to five cents, and then you know, you might be really onto something there. All right, we only got a couple more left. We are almost to the finish line. See these corners, I just don't like that. I need to handle that. I need to do something different with these packs because having troubles. Live Twin, Live Twin Challenge, Nightmare Griffin. Majestus Invocation, Backup Secretary, Evil Twin, GG Easy, Drighton Asterism, and Drighton Alpha Thuban, another one, I believe. I'm gonna memorize all these, um, all these prices, probably. 54 cents, it just went, oh, it stayed the same, nice. We're still looking at 54 cents. Awesome sauce, let's go. We on to it. Keep the ball rolling, keep 
ball roll. All right, let's see how many we got left. We got four more left. Oh, you guys can't really see that. So four more left. Hopefully one of them is a collector rare. But how could I tell? I wouldn't even be able to tell even if it was, right? Okay, that came out a lot easier. Maybe this is the lucky one. Triton Delta Ataris. All, oh, Altais. Never mind, sorry. Triton Eclipse. Invoke Kytus. Magistus Invocation. World Legacy. World Lance. Performing. Damage Juggler. And ooh! Nina. That's a nice looking card. Nina Ruru, the Magistus Glass Goddess. That's very pretty. I like that. I like the white. It reminds me of a ghost rare. I don't think they, they don't have ghost rares in uh, this box though. Nini, Nina, let me see. The new one, Nina Roo, super rare. We're looking at 15 cents. If it was collectors, we'd be looking at 20 freaking dollars. $25 actually. We're looking at four cents for this. Four cents. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I thought I saw like, uh, I gotta see what they mean by the whole um, <clears throat> collectors. They said the borders will have foiling, which means this, I guess. It's okay though. Four cents. Again, you never know. You never know. That was a good pack though. At least we got something different, right? <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Next time I'm gonna bring some water with me because I definitely. Definitely need to wash my throat. Magistus Thurgy. Signet Regression. Dryton Gamma Leak. Dryton Zeta Aldehybach. God, these names. Okay, I'm just gonna go through them. Oh, we got another Implantation Chalice Slime. And I believe he was not a big winner. Yeah, we're looking at 23 cents. You click on the price. Looking at 8 cents. So, you know, I'd say that's fair. Hold on, maybe, I wonder if I refresh the page. No, it's still saying the same thing. Yeah, it's still the same thing. All right. That's fine with me. All right, and the next one. All right, final two. The final countdown. All right. Cyber's Gadget, Let's Win Channel, Star Drawing, Dryton Meteor Shower, Invoke Magic Linica, Herald of Ultimateness, and Beat Cop from the Underworld. Yes, we've seen you once. You did not surprise us. We were not that impressed. Okay, but still, you get a case. All right. <clears throat> Last one, fingers crossed for good luck, right? Most people cross their fingers when, I don't know why people cross their fingers actually, to be honest. All right, let's see what we got. Magistrus Verita, Invoke Kytus, Dryton Beta, Rastaban, Star Drawing, Nightmare Unicorn, Cyber Angel Ben 10, and Evil Twin Lila. Nice pull, but is it a collector's rare? I have no idea, but it does have the same silver. I think we pulled three of these. I could be wrong. One had the plain text, the other two had the silver. But again, I can't tell. I'm assuming this is collectors, and if it is, just to recap, Evil Twin Lila. Let me see. What are we looking at? Evil Twin. Uh, sorry, it's taking me a minute. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Lila. Yeah, $14 for regular. And then if we go to the collectors, it is $41. So it looks like it may have gone up within that short period of time. I just wish I could tell. Maybe collectors is just, maybe, I don't know. Maybe collectors is the whole entire card. But regardless, still a nice card, nice pulls. I'm satisfied. Could have won the winning number, but you know, can't all be winners here. But this was a win in my book since it was my first one. I think that it went well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. 
Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see more, let me know what boxes you want me to order or, or order. Well, order, I need to order them. Or you want me to unbox, you know, give me, give me as long as I can afford it. You know, the sky's the limit. The world is your oyster, as I say, okay? Thank you so much for watching and look out for next week. I'll be doing a Phantom Rage unboxing first edition as well. And I'm probably getting into Rage of Raw. We're going to be trying to pull that Ghost Rare uh, Wing Guardian Dragon of Raw. Uh, Wing Dragon of Raw, not Wing, Gu Wing Guardian. I don't know why I said that. Sorry. Dragon of Raw Ghost Rare. Um, that would be the biggest pull out of that box. And look for many others as I continue this long, long, long Yu-Gi-Oh! journey. Thanks guys for watching. And have a wonderful day, weekend, evening, night. God bless you all.